hello good morning and welcome to my youtube channel my name is steve b yampa and today i am so 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 happy to bring to you my r function that i have written that will spit out your table one for you in seconds now just to watch your appetite let's get to look at the table that i'm talking about uh, that i'm calling table one this is how it looks like uh, this is the latex version you know uh it's the table or the function looks like this you pass this input to it and it spits out this uh, let me warn you this video is specifically for excel output so uh the excel output also looks like this yes it looks like that and then everything is written in r and then it spits out this table and then you could copy this and then take it to ms word so if this is what you want to create for your journal articles then let's get started all right so um to be able to have access or clone or download my source file that i'm using to create this table you have to go to my github and it's here if you go to my github you click on table one our excel output that is where you have this is i call it table one function dot r there we go so the function is here and that is it and these are the arguments that this function takes it's a long one it goes all the way but it does the work that you want for you yeah okay and uh, we also want to take a look at the excel data set that we interested in summarizing right so we want to summarize all the variables that we have here across this treatment uh, variable so this is it if you actually want to source this uh you, you actually want to download this you go to raw and then you hit on uh, this part it should give you a link the url link that you have to copy copy this and then you come to the um our script you do the same thing for the r function that i've written now here these are the functions or the packages that you would need ply deploy string r r m s h misc knit r i'm going to load them in so i'm going to run this one the five of them and then with this i have loaded them in so the next line of code is where we read in the data set I showed you how you can copy the URL you click on raw it comes up and then you copy the URL and uh, you can put it here and then you can run this to get in the data set now what the red marks we have here is not an error is not it's just telling us that the ID variable was read in as a double variable double variable means that it's numeric and then treatment was read in as a character variable and it does it for all the variables in the data set let's make sure it is it came in we run this one realize that the data set came in correctly you have the treatment the age and other variables there let's look at the bottom we see the bottom six observations of this data set and there are hundred observations in there now the next line of code is actually bringing in the table one function dot r that i showed you uh, if you want to copy the url i showed you already you copy it you put it up here and uh, you run this it pulls it directly from my github website and it gets it in here you don't have to see if you don't see any error after you run it then it means it was able to bring it in correctly and you don't have to see it to make it work now this is how you specify a test analysis of variance test is specified with aov.t fisher is here chi squared t test cross car wireless test wilcoxon rank some test it does it for all of them so now let's go to my table one function now this is it um good 
so the data set is here split bar is the treatment we want to keep it on top if you look at the um, the table that we are interested in the variable we have here is what I'm calling the split bar here we have gender but I'm going to do it for treatment so this treatment variable is going to come up here right um, so we have treatment and then if you want to give it a label at the top you keep it on top here and that is it so and continuous variables are specified here all of all continuous variables are specified with one vector and a vector that will match the kind of test you want to use for each categorical variables will then follow and then the kind of test you want to use specifically for each of these categorical variables now the next one argument is asking do you want the function to do the caption for you if you say f then you have to specify what you want to, to put on top of your table so here i wanted to put baseline characteristics across drug groups now uh, you also want to specify what kind of summaries you want the continuous variables to take you can the options are mean and median you can specify it for each of them it doesn't have to be the same so i have mean here mean goes with age blood pressure would use median and all that you know and uh, there's a bracket equal to true it means that the standard deviation will be put in brackets if you put it to f then the standard deviation will have a plus or minus the standard deviation the mean plus or minus the standard deviation and this is the path and the name for the latex file this video is specifically not for the latex output uh, if it is not working for you, if you are doing the Excel, then probably you need to download the MicTech and MacTech. I'll put it down below. Um, it's, but this is specifically for the Excel output. Now, trace is what I use to edit this file. PDES is the decimal places for your p values. And if you wanted to do a test, provide p values at the last column. This is where you specify a test equal to true. LaTeX output, do you want it to spit out a LaTeX file here? If you say true, then it's going to put it to that directory that you specify. Um, if you're doing the LaTeX, you want to put it to F, but uh, I want it to pop up on the screen for now, so I'll put it to true for the meantime. And then Excel output true, we want the Excel output. And then if you want it, then you have to specify the type of name you would want this Excel output to have then show equal to true um, this will just let the table pop up it's not going to pop up the excel table but it's going to pop up going to run a latex code at the background and then pop it up here let's see it's going to do its own thing and then when it's ready it will pop up it takes a minute there we go so we have it here so we can see that the label that we pass it is here and we have it there now if you want to do the latex output you don't have to specify the show table the show table only works for Mac and Linux if you are using a Windows computer it will not work for you because the X -quas doesn't exist in windows so it doesn't work with it now um let me close this one another thing i want us to notice that uh, uh look at the labels here the labels here are what we have in the data set the variables we have here came from the data set you want to pass your right labels to them so that they look so nice so uh we're gonna do that here this is where we're going to pass the labels we want to pass the labels before we go to the excel so i'll run it here and then i'll do a loop to attach the labels to it now i have attached the labels i'm still going to run it and we can see how it's going to look like let's see if it's really should pop up there we go good so if you look at the first and the second realize that here we have age has changed with the units there you know it's nicely written here 
Um, let's see, the P values are also stated clearly and nicely here. Another thing you would want to clarify is that we see drug A, drug A plus B, and then drug B. You probably want to have drug A followed by drug B, then drug A plus B. How do you do that? Let's go. Um, we want to we want to put it in the format that you want. My levels. This is where you specify that. And it, every level that you write here should be in the data set. We know that is drug A. One drug A to come first, followed by drug B. So I'm gonna do that. Drug B. Then we have drug A plus B. Good. Now that we have it this way, let's run it again and see whether it will put it in that line of code that we wanted it to be. Good. So we can now see that we have drug A, drug B, drug A plus B, just as we wanted. Whatever way you want it, you put it up there and it brings it. So it's nicely written and the kind of test that it uses, it puts it under it here to remind you that the one level two is analysis of variance and does that nicely. Level one is an over two is cross wireless test. Now let's go back to our Excel. If I want to do the Excel, I don't have to delete tech. I want to turn it off. I just put it on there for it to pop up and turn the show table off. Now I'm going to run this and then we should get our Excel. Let me change this one so that we have a unique name. So probably two to two. I'm going to run this and we should go look for it. So we're going to look for table one with P values two to two. Let's double check. This is the directory where it's going to be. This one shows all the files that we have there. We have table one with P values one one one. We don't have two to two. So I'm going to run it and I will see how it works. It's done. Let me do DIR and see if I will find my file. There we go. Table one with P value 22. So I'm going to look for this file. It should be in this folder. There we go. Table one with P value 22. If you look at the time here, it's 123 and it's 124 there. So we know that this is this just came in so you click on it and it should open let's wait for it there we go so now let's double click on this we have to do some cleaning to make it look good um i'm going to create some spaces here to make it center is it So if I do insert, it's going to push it to the right. And I'm going to do a similar one here. And then I will send and have enough space to work with it. Good. Now I don't need this V, so I'm going to delete them. Drug groups. Now we want to center this on drug A, drug B, and drug A plus B. So I click on that and I want to also bold these variables. I want to bold them and I also want to bold. This one, just to make it look nice. Yeah. So I'm bolding the headings to make it look good. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to put the lines on them. So if you want the lines, you come to this part. Um, line style. You select a thick line at the bottom. 
the pencil does not usually automatically come you have to come here and pick the line color this is where if you pick the line color it comes with the pencil and this pencil will help you draw your lines on top it's not coming the way I want it so I wanna I'm not using the mouse so it's kind of sometimes makes it a bit difficult should be okay so touch part good now I still want to put a line here for a plus B is on top of this one and then we can also put another mark there good now you want to go in here and then change these ones because of time you might not have uh time to change all this you want to take all these things off or if you want to put them there you know and then chi squared you you want to change this one to the chi square specific variable you use inset to put a chi square so go into the inset character and then you click on chi square and inset and this will bring it there and you can keep on cleaning and put all those things there and once you're done you copy this right click copy and you take it to ms word now control n you give us a new page and then you can paste this there now you can do this click on that and control E will put it in the center for you so now here you can reduce it if you want and control E puts it the center now I'm looking for this one here this one is what you need to look for to pull it here to bring your table back and everything should be okay now if you want to make it big you can go to right click on this and then you can pick on the number that you want so this is all about it and um, we are done if if you are interested in knowing how you 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 want to do this you can go to my github website and then you just pull it in and then you create your tables thank you so much for watching this video we have other videos that are coming in SARS and Python if you are interested in doing this just subscribe and click on the bell icon so that any video that we do you will get it instantly thank you and thank you thank you so much for watching this video bye bye